I am at the newest of the Goodwills in Las Vegas. I haven't been to this one for quite some time. Let's get in here and see what we can find. Let's get shop done. You know, first things first, a nice, lucky. Okay, this is my thing today. Okay, that one. That one's coming with us. We are looking for blue tags for 50% off. All right, we jump right into all the hard goods shelves here. These look like Pimpernel, but I'm gonna tell you right now, ooh, that's gonna be tough to get that tape off without damaging those. Fun pumpkin. It is almost pumpkin season. That just means I get some down from the rafters and put them in other places in the house. Oh my goodness, this is an entire bell collection. Wow. That's kind of a cool little Adobe, almost like a mission, because it's got the crosses on it. Uh, something Originals 1992 Arden? Something, no. Garden Originals? Very cool, but very big. Ooh, look how dainty that is. I don't know what that is that they made that from. Huh. Sweet, but... I don't want to ship that. That's a little vintage inspired jewelry. Oh, it's Cynthia, Cynthia Rowley. Cynthia Rowley is actually a decent brand. Not like a huge high-end brand, but her stuff sells decently. I am not picking that up. Huh? Huh, Sam? You agree? Get a little picture back here. Looks like a Courier and Ives scene. Tiki candles. Herbs of Provence. What is that? Oh, it's William Sonoma. Ooh, there's actually like herbs in there. Okay, there's two of these little light up acorns. Mm. Fun, but we're leaving it. I did find this little cast iron owl and I'm wondering is he a bank I don't want to peel the sticker no I don't think he's a bank I think he's just hollow inside he's like a cast iron for $3.99 we'll grab him so funny I just just saw a bag of all those little warmer things at the last store I was at People are getting rid of them now. They don't like them anymore. <gasps> oh, look at these little birdies. Four dollars each. Now these wouldn't be like a high seller for me, but I know they would sell super fast because birds are a thing for those of us who love birds. So I'm gonna grab those. And the thing of it is, if they don't sell, they just stay in my bird collection. Or on my patio. They're more like patio birds. I do have patio birds. Interesting way to stack that little teapot. Okay. Got some Crystal Durand. JG Durand. That's a decent brand. You want $8 for that set. Not bad, not bad at all. And then there was a sad, sad little cow. Yes, and that Eiffel, Eiffel Tower next to the cow is pretty cool. All right, let's look through the clear. See if there's any standouts. Not seeing any. Not seeing any, but oh, let's see what we've got in the pottery. Yeah, what is this? Grand Concert Le Clavecin uh, Forte Piano Mozart. That's kind of cool. I wonder if you are a specific maker. Giuseppe Hayden. It's just got all of these. Oh, it's formalities. Uh, 
Ooh, it's uh, 750 because it's half price. It's kind of cool. I'm sure it doesn't sell for, I'm gonna guess, just a guess before even looking anything up. I'm gonna guess it's 25 to $30. So, do I wanna pay $7? Hmm. It is cool, I think I will. And hopefully I'm wrong on the price and it's worth a little bit more than that. But I generally don't look things up in the store. I just, I kind of go by gut and I kind of go by my past selling history of things and all the research that I do because I do a ton of research while I'm editing videos. I really, I'm really, I know it's new, it's contemporary, but I'm really digging the blue. Eight bucks. Am I digging it eight dollars worth? That's the question. This is for me, not for resale. I'm going to try to start some more um, cactus pads and they have to be kept in a vase and kept up away from anywhere that tortoises can get them. Let's say Tor Tori and Tagus collection. I like the color. For three dollars, I'm snagging it. All right, I am disappointed that this is all dented in because I think these are pretty old. Oh, they're both dented. Uh, yeah, it's like solid brass. Very, very cool brass vases, but really, really damaged. All right, let's look through the fakery. See if there's anything exciting. Oh, I like, I like those. All right, let's leave that see what else we got so funny we actually buy these for the fish tank where the mollies have their babies because then the babies can go and hide in all those crevices and don't get eaten and then it's survival of the fittest I know it's a harsh world fun little baggy wall little bunnies oh you're marked no you're not are you? No, you're just handwritten on. They don't look very, very high quality at all. Nor do you, nor do you. Okay, we've got some little candies in the bag. Are they can, oh, they're candles. Nope, can't be candles. I was hoping they were just little fake candies. That would have been fun. Oh, we are in the holiday section, which is, uh, it's coming upon us. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to remind you, but uh, we're getting closer by the day. You might be thinking this right about now. That's a cool, cool thing. Do you work? No, you're gonna need batteries. Holiday carousel. It's probably like a Mr. Christmas. They want $14.99 for it. Again, kind of a kind of a shipping nightmare. Even though it's not glass, it's pretty fab, fragile, fragile, <laughs> fragile, and a little bit hard to ship. These almost look vintage. It's cute little metal snowmen candle holders. They're a little, they're a little loose on the thing. Oh, I guess they just screw on there. They're kind of adorable, but I'm going to, I, they need a lot of cleaning and I'm not lazy. I just don't have a lot of extra time in my life. So unless it's worth like a whole bunch of money to pay for that time, I leave it. All right, we are in the wood section, but I spotted these fun little, uh, vintage salt and peppers they look familiar and I'm trying to remember I think gosh I don't even want to guess I, but I want to say it's like a Noritake pattern that makes these do I want to pay three bucks for them I don't know I don't know I haven't been selling I, I sell cute salt and peppers I haven't really been selling just the vintage salt and peppers so for that reason I'm leaving them that's a cool basket, look at that. 
They think it's a more modern contemporary basket, but it's cool. You can definitely appreciate things and not buy them. I have to really actually get better at that. I, uh, I just bought quite a bit at the antique mall. That was in the last video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, make sure you go back and watch. There's, well, I went to three different places. The antique mall was just the end of that video, so. But uh, yeah, I got, a, I got a lot of stuff. Free lunch, best food in town, 1966, for real? Oh, somebody has painted this. Somebody has painted this glass, and I'm sure that's not the original finish. That's kind of a shame. Too bad. Okay, I like these little, I like these little wood slabs, five pieces, so they would be four dollars. I feel like those could be painted into some really cool little ornaments. Do you think I could talk Rachel into painting maybe some birds on these? Birds would be fabulous. They see they were only ten dollars new and then they priced them at eight. That's why they didn't sell and now they are four. And I'm pretty sure that if I wasn't going to pick these up because I have a kind of a vision of a plan, they'd go to dollar day and they'd get a dollar for them instead of getting like five bucks for them, you know, right off the bat or two fifty when they went half price. So I, all that being said, I am picking them up. And behind it is this beautiful inlaid box. The hinge definitely has some issues. I don't know if that. I feel like it's like a pin in the hinge. It just needs to be fixed. For $6, I'm going to pick it up. Okay, that's an interesting juicer. It's a Threshold, which is a Target brand. It's not like super high-end or anything. What do we have here? $2.99. Okay, I need two hands to see if I can fix this lid. It slides open. It doesn't screw open. That's what we got going on there. Okay, so that's, it's a little, it's a little warpy, I gotta say. The lid, the lid has some issues. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, let's see what we have over here. I don't know it. Oh, these are shelves. Oh, they're shelves. There's holes to fasten them into the wall. I'm more of a wood shelf kind of gal. Not metal. <laughs> okay, the signs today are making me giggle. Let's see what else we can find. What are you? Are you a turkey? Oh, you are a little turkey. Okay, no turkeys for us. That's a hot chocolate pot. Oh, it's almost hot chocolate season. That's Rachel's favorite. That's kind of a fun little, I don't know why it has $8. Oh, I wonder if some of this was showroom sample stuff too and some of the, some of the dealers just uh, send it to Goodwill. So they get a write off. They get to write off the value of the merchandise. That's kind of fun. That's kind of fun for six bucks. I'll take it. see what the utensils holder is six dollars hand wash made in India that's kind of nice the hammered aluminum with the copper it's kind of big and functional too six bucks do I want it for six bucks yeah I'll take it what are you Oh, love that. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Isaiah 40, 31. You know I love scripture items. $8, that's coming with me. And there's another butterfly. What are you, you're just a little butterfly for $2. I'll take you. I wish you had a friend on the shelf, but I don't see a friend. What does that say? Wine. K 
candle. Oh, those are very lightweight. Okay, I don't see anything else here. All right, the glassware. I sound like a broken record, I swear, when I say I, I just am not picking up glassware. It's got to be super special. I mean, I'll pick it up if it's super special. And I might even take a closer look, even if it's not super special. But those are interesting salt and pepper. I like that there's a window so you can see how low it's getting. So kind of fun. Priced separately, $3 each. We're not going to get them. But I definitely like them. Gives me ideas. Ooh. Ooh. So these are not good quality. Tiffin makes uh, some glassware that is like the pink and the green glass, but it's much more refined than that is. That's very heavy, very coarse, not super high quality. So quality, 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 quality matters when it goes to getting that resale price. Let's see if we've got any fun mugs here to choose from. I like getting mugs. Mugs are great gifts. People like mugs. People break mugs and need a new mug. People just get tired of their mugs and need a new mug. Uh, so mugs are something that I have sold for decades, uh, very, very consistently. Are they a huge money maker? No, but they are a steady money maker. Heartland. That's kind of a see. That's kind of a nice. Oh, darn it! Big chip. Kind of a nice mug. Big chip though. The store is very, very empty. Like people empty. Maybe just because it's Tuesday. And maybe it's just because the store is like way on a side of town that most people don't get to. So they require the local community to get here. Is that broken? Ugh, it's all chipped up right there. Otherwise, I probably would have grabbed this. $7.99. I think it's like a hobbyist piece. See the little initials in there? But broken chicken, can't do it. Look at this. Okay, Traventine, is that what that is? It's Traventine, right? I have asked this before. See that came from World Market. That was a show sample. Maybe not, nope, 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 nope. I take it back, I take it back. I see the compare, compare to our price. Okay, so this came from um, like TJ Maxx, Ross, one of those, and it's chipped. It's very chipped up. I was pretty, pretty entranced by it till I saw the chips. I don't care where it came from. I still would have bought it, but not with the damage. Let's see. What do we have in the kitchen section? Pretty bowl but not very good quality and shoes, you know, shoes in the dishes department, of course. That's just somebody probably like looked up prices and was too lazy to put them back where they got them since they decided not to buy them. Or it's somebody stashing them here, hoping nobody else finds them so they can come back on discount day tomorrow. Usually one of those two things. And I don't see anything here, except this. Oh, it's Zach, it's not Texas wear. And I just see that they brought out carts. Ooh, a bunch of bottles and a bunch of clear glass. A red, oh, I like red orbs. I like red orbs for $8 too, thank you. I also snagged this glass red rose for six dollars. The little tag's trying to fall off, but that that is the tag. They actually brought out three carts of stuff just now, so kind of fishing through it. Okay, because who doesn't need a dinosaur skeleton for uh, two bucks? I was going back to see what they already put on the shelves and thinking like, how did I miss this? How did I not see what this was sitting here on the shelf? Oh my goodness, it's a giraffe. It's a big metal giraffe. Got to fix the top of his ear a little bit. Wait, how much are you? Ooh, $25. Okay, I like you, buddy, but I 
sorry I don't like you $25 worth. You have to stay. All right, I'm running down the plastic shelves and the kickware, seeing if anything is exciting. What are you? Oh, you are very well loved. Look at that cool purple design. Ooh, you are Metalac, Metalac cookware made in Serbia. All right. There you go. That's what it is. Oh, and there's bins. There's just bins and bins and bins of stuff coming out. Let's take a quick peek. Stuffed animals. I do like the washboard, but it is definitely a reproduction washboard. And we don't need it. Don't need it. What in the world are you? Are you an alabrije? The mask is, I feel like. Did somebody make a little project out of a little alabrije mask? Wood hands. I I just it's does not spark joy in me at all. And I'm not even sure what that is either. Okay. Just things on the shelf. This is all their kind of crafty mishmash stuff. A letter board. Eggs. No, I'm not going to pick up any more eggs. Not doing it. Digital painting? Painting by number. It'll be the best digital painting. That's interesting, but I'm not sure why it's digital if it actually has a canvas with numbers on it. Happy. All right, we are in the household goods. I'm actually on the lookout for some light bulbs for my new light fixture. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go to Home Depot and get them, which is not a horrible thing. Oh, these are handy. These are for plants, for moving plants around, like on your patio. Those are actually like... Those are really nifty. Are they, are all the wheels like working? They are, they're five bucks each. I need those. I just saw something get covered up back here. Look at this guy. Artist edition collection, $7.99. For that adorable dog it'll take a special special box to ship him but i love him oh and look at this vintage needle point of a ship oh it's half price it's six dollars and fifty cents Okay, who knew Gordon was a rock star? And if you know who Gordon is, let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm gonna try to finagle my way back to the small art, but they have a cart of electronics in front of it. Okay, I can move it over enough to see back here. I do definitely see world market donations. They must have showrooms that like to donate to Goodwill. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's like a little laser art flower, $6. It's on that really cheap board though. Not, not real high quality. Koi for $1.50. I kind of love them. All right, I'm getting that. Is that a vintage TV tray? No plastic. I mean, it might be vintage, but it's not like the metal ones. Yeah, that's, it's pretty. Not something I need though. Okay, those look comfy. 15 bucks each. Seems like a good price. And they just brought out a cart of linens and I see this granny square pillow. It's pretty sweet, but you can see that pillow form right through there. It would need a different pillow under there and it's sewed on. So that's quite a task. You have to take it apart, change out that pillow, probably put like a black one under there. It's a little less see-through or the same color as this maybe. 
It's a fun, that's a fun pillow, but we're gonna leave it. All right, we're going through the linens. Is that a tablecloth? We do? What is it? Labor Day is coming up. $7.99. It's a fun print. Do I want it for $8? I feel like it's maybe like a $12 to $15 tablecloth. And I'm looking for $20 plus tablecloths. All right, I don't see anything here. All right, we've made it over to the purses and the backpacks and such. Let's see if we can find something cool. That is a really pretty yellow. I don't think that, I don't know, maybe that strap is meant to go with it. I don't know. I don't even know who makes this. What's about? Oh, it's $12.99. That's like the go-to price. That's from Fit and Fresh, which is like a subscription service. I know because they all open them up on TikTok. Ooh, that's a yummy blue. Let's see. Who are you? Who are you, yummy blue? I don't think you're anybody. $5.99. Not bad, but you also have damage. That's what happens with cheap purses. They do not last long. That's why you go for like real leather or real high quality. What does that say? Oak leathers. See, now I like this distressed leather, you know, where it's got some wear, but it's real leather. Let's get that one down and take a closer look. That tag is well worn out. It's $4.99. Ha ha, we found one. This is kind of funny. It's trying to look like a Dooney and Burke. I swear it is, um, but it's not. And it's priced appropriately. Cute purse, but it's very poor quality. So we're gonna leave it. I was walking by the blazers and these kind of stood out. So I took a look a little closer. We've got a uh, Tori Richard Honolulu, a Calvin Klein made in Hong Kong, super vintage. And this one is Spencer Jeremy and I just love the color. So I'm getting those. I'll send those in to be listed on eBay through my listing service and uh, we'll make some money on them. All right. Let's see if there's any goodies in the jewelry today. Gosh, that is, that just screams 90s right there, doesn't it? Hmm, how light, not exciting. Feathers. Okay, didn't find any good jewelry today, but we've got a nice little cart full of stuff. Look at that. All right, that was a super pleasant trip to the Goodwill and got to talking to some of the employees here who also watch the channel. So it was lovely meeting you. Thank you for watching. And always good to hear like from the source. I like to stay in touch with like what's really going on. And I did learn that there has been a, a big decrease in removed tags and tag switching. So I can understand, I can understand it from Goodwill's perspective of trying to put in a policy that fixes a problem and only they have the numbers only they have the numbers to know if it's truly working so it's one of those acceptance things i mean it is still a bummer when you really want to buy something and you can't i'm not gonna lie but i'm gonna i'm gonna try not to be so so mad about it <laughs> all right i am heading to another store but you're gonna to have to come back and watch that next video. So be sure you hit that subscribe button.